matchup. I just think the death combo. The death combo is Meta's favor, but the neutral is relatively evenish. So we're gonna have to see how Snakey pulls in the neutral. That's gonna be the key part of the set. Yeah. Riz comes into game one with a loaded gun, but Snakey's really not afraid of it. Right off the bat, Luma's out of the picture, and I feel like we're gonna be seeing tons of that throughout this set, no matter how long it goes on for. Not it. It's really a matter of how well Snakey can try and control the momentum. I like this the match. high recovery. She's just gonna, she's just gonna, yeah, she's just gonna get punished for it. Pretty light punish though. As we, as we just saw, we know Riz is going to be able to pull in with these combos, rack up plenty of solid damage. But if Snakey does well to avoid the setups into the kill, and just to, in general, extend the longevity of her stocks, then Riz has to deal with uh, Rage on Luma. What is up? Same farewell, Waldo and chat. <laughs> the uh, the, the kinda... truest of Ikes. Leaves us that probably would have killed if he upbeat right there. Rose is deceptive. Well, deceptively really light. Yeah. I hope everyone knows that by now. It's two years into the game. Yeah, she's a she's a tall one, but she's light. Yeah, dash attack upbeat will kill with AD. It's pretty solid. So with Rose having taken that first stock quite handily, I feel like Snakey's gonna be able to make the adjustments eventually, but she did pick into a losing battle with having Rosalina against Meta Knight. That could, uh, okay, really good bre uh, breakout from the Luma there. One thing I want to see from Riz is I want to see a little more patience, especially, uh, you saw before, Snakey was standing on the platform. Riz was just constantly short off. Uh, just stand there. What's what's she going to do? Well, wait, you know? Yeah, pa patience is... He was being patient. Like, he was just throwing, throwing out hops just to uh, look for baits. But sometimes you just have to stand there. It's a good mix. Patience is a deep virtue in this kind of matchup because you know at any point uh, Rosalina with Rage becomes very threatening. Just from a straight hit from Luma or eating that up smash which we see Snakey trying to put out now. But at the same time, Riz could just break through that offensive with forward smash, dash attack, shuttle loop if he's lucky to try and sneak out that stock while he's got plenty of Rage behind him. Um, as someone who plays a little bit of Meta Knight, I think it's helpful to know that at this higher percentage, when you just have Luma, it's good to like neutral air or forward air the Luma away because you're not going to get much of a combo. And if you shuttle loop and if you whiff, you're going to get Luma up air, and that's not good. But the dimensional keep almost doing it. It takes out Luma, but Snakey's still in it. And okay, Nair just to extend the damage further. Really good delay by Snakey. That was really smart. Snakey being really safe. Didn't want to get dimensional cape there. And just like that, Luma comes up, Luma's gone. It's just going to be a deep rotation of Lumas as the set goes on. And the match is going to slow down to a crawl now. Things are really at Riz's pace. Up he's got the, oh, not yet. He's got the lead. And Snakey has to play it patiently if she wants to try and squeak this one out from Riz. But up, up there it might have been a little bit better. But I respect the smash. I think it was smart. That's, uh, that side B is really hard to challenge off stage. Snakey getting the first stock. This isn't over. Luma is a thing. Yeah. yeah. Now we're in the situation where this is where Snakey's going to have to play as optimally as she can control she, Luma. She really can't get dash attacked here, though. Uh oh. Oh. Really smart to land with a the button there. And it's worth noting for those who aren't familiar to seeing Meta Knight play patiently like this just how safe that forward smash is. It's plus one on block, I believe. It's, it's safe on block. It is a smash move with potent kill power that's safe. Just like that. See, that's what I was talking about before. If you shuttle loop Luma, it puts you in a little extra hit lag. It's not as likely to combo with Rosa. That was almost really good. If she had the other hitbox. <laughs> that was kind of sad. I feel bad. That was really nice. That's something that you get hit with and you don't get hit with it again. So when you yeah, hit it, you want it to work. It's your one and done. Yeah. It's the run back Raptor boost. <laughs> and late hit of Frozelina is up here. Just attack on a tiny bit more damage. Return safely. I like these star bits in neutral just to break anything that Riz wants to do and keep him firmly at uh, a safe space. He's so smart right now. And we're closing down into the last minute and 10 seconds of counting. Something. 
Oscar. Just wait back at the Luma. I think that's really good. Jab might be troublesome. Jab three is not going to be able to do it just yet. No real need to go off stage right now or up smash. Yeah, that was a very risky up smash, but fortunately for Sneaky, Riz was not in position to really do much out of it. Yeah, Both this is looking not too hot for Riz, actually. Both of these players playing it incredibly patiently, and I like that. Riz knows that he can't get carried away with the lead that he's already had. And Snakey doing a fantastic job not gonna of just being able to control That's the space. That's going to catch things. it out. I was going to say I thought the F throw was a little questionable. I think up throw would have been a little better, especially with the platform. But he gets the he gets the sock anyway. Really tight match. He almost threw that, but managed to keep his cool and get the back air to steal it. Yeah, the pressure was really on Riz as the uh, the match closed into its last minute. But Snakey with a really good adaptation. I, I I don't know. I didn't think I would say this, but I think she I think she should stay Rosa. Honestly, with the with the way that that match was panning out towards the end, I feel like. Snakey made the necessary adjustments to be able to play it accordingly. And yes, Riz did have a very convincing lead off into it, but he just wasn't able to carry that momentum on. He played it very smart at the end, and he knew exactly when to go right in on Snakey yeah. just to break the momentum of things. If she does switch, I would be surprised to see a zero suit Samus. Uh, I think she does pretty well against Meta Knight, but nice. I don't know. I think, I think she's just playing a little smarter than Riz right now. At least towards the end of that match. The latter end was really good for Snakey right there. Yeah, it's... It's... Honestly, I'm hoping we see it. And they're going to be going back to Smashville. I back. like this. All right. <laughs> I love my oranges. Is that, is that your... Uh... Yeah, it's my orange. <laughs> I think jab is, oh, just Luma jabs are just really important in this matchup. I feel like there was a really important moment for Riz throughout this, just to show the kind of mindset that he's going into for this. He recognizes that Luma is oh, no, the, the lethal weapon of this that's set. That's gonna kill, oh, good SDI, I think it was down in the way. That's the correct SDI for floaties. If Riz covered that with uh, one down air, it very likely could have taken that stock, but. I want to see Riz use more neutral air and less forward air, unless he's looking to not stale it, because it has a little less hit lag because it's only one move as opposed to three. So uh, as you saw in the beginning of the match, he dash attacked the forward air, the Luma, and then got hit for it. But maybe if he neutral aired. Wow. So he's going to forward smash. And we're sitting in a very similar situation as we did to game one, where right off the bat, Riz has a very convincing lead, but there's still a lot of time left on the clock, not a lot of damage built up on Riz, and can Snakey have a repeat performance of game one where she really stretched the timer to the best of her ability? Uh, or will she just get dash attack up beat? Okay. All right, this might be my last set, it sounds like. And another forward air just to oh, remove please. another Luma. Good forward air. Stay See, controls his. We saw this out of Riz earlier as well. Great tech. Only using these Nairs in these offstage situations. Oh, it's going to kill. That's going to be the set. That's going to be it. And that's much more part of the course for what we're used to seeing in this matchup. Why we came into this set with such hesitation, but one way or the other, Snakey handled it very well. Snakey did, really. She really made a statement with that Rose of Luma. And Especially, like, again, in game one specifically. Game two, not so much, but uh, 